Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to do uh, something different. I'm gonna do a little blues video instruction uh, lesson. Uh, and we're gonna focus on getting out of that uh, ever so popular blues pentatonic, minor blues pentatonic scale that all of us guitar players know and love. You know the deal. We're gonna be doing it in the key of G and we're gonna focus on the one chord and a little bit on the four chord as well. I'll do another video talking about the five chord because a lot of interesting things you can do with the five chord of a blues. And we're to focus on getting out of that pentatonic box and making your lines a little more hip, a little more bluesy, a little more tasty, all right? So grab your guitar and let's get started. Uh, as I said, we're gonna do it in the key of G. And now that minor blues pentatonic scale, it works. And that's why we get stuck in it because it does work. You'll be chugging along, you know? And it works, man. It's always gonna work, right? But there's only so much you could do with it. You wanted those lines to sound a little hipper. And the key to that is utilizing the major third. So in the key of G, we're gonna be utilizing this. And the flat seven. Those are the notes that, and then when you hit that four chord, you get the B flat, which is gonna be the flat seven of C. And that's how you get those lines to sound a lot cooler by utilizing that major third. Uh, guys to listen to that do this, Phenomenal, BB uh, King, of course, and John Mayer. John Mayer is really, really good at this kind of thing. So uh, check out some of his blues stuff. Uh, he's really good at this. So one of the things is, so you chug along uh, in that in that G blues uh, blues, and a lot of us to make that even hipper. Here's your standard seven chord, right? Your dominant seventh chord on the one. Uh, make that a thirteen, you know, and you can do that by here's your root, your G. Okay, you're gonna go here. And then you're going to put your middle finger here on the F. And that's your 13. A little bit hipper voicing, right? Skipping over that A string, muting it with the first string, or the first finger, I should say. You get it. where you get that hip, hipness where you sort of are relying more on that flat seven sound. between that flat third, the minor third, and the, and the major third. And that's another real hip thing to do in blues. So, so flat three, so minor third, major third. Relying on those tones is gonna give you more of a hipness to your line as opposed to just like you're still utilizing some of that pentatonic stuff and that's the idea you want to mix these things up you know uh, so you're on your on your on your one chord it's a real hip line right And then when you hit that four chord, that that those notes in there, gonna get you you know a lot more of a of a sophisticated sound than that standard blues, right? So one of the things you can do to sort of practice this and put this into place is get a real good handle on your where your dominant seven arpeggio falls, right? So there's some cool patterns. You can use this one. Right? And that's a 
you sort of get the idea of where that stuff falls and, and the pattern's gonna, you know, third, fifth, seventh, octave, third, fifth, changes come, you know, listen to a lot of this stuff. And then hear that B flat. And then again, that major third. Throwing those chromatic spicy tones in there as well. So uh, just sort of a springboard for getting out of that pentatonic box, you know. So thanks for stopping by the channel. I hope this video was a little bit helpful, inspiring, uh, as I said, to sum up. The things that you can work on to get this stuff into practice or into your playing is to, to really get a handle on those uh, dominant seventh arpeggios. Learn them on uh, root on the sixth. And then learn them root on the fifth string as well. into the pentatonic ideas uh, and, and again be be cognizant and be aware of you know where your 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 natural uh, your I'm sorry your major third your minor third and your flat seven fall on each of the chords right so that should give you some stuff to practice uh, leave a like on this video if you're new subscribe to the channel I'm gonna be doing more videos like this uh, some more instructional stuff uh, and if you like like the video like I said leave a comment uh, tell me some of the things you'd like to see in the future, and thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.